Well, we've been at the RCA looking at the students' work for eyewear competition and uh, narrowing it down into the last eight uh, entries, which will be presented at the 100% Optical Show. We started with, I think, 80 applicants, and that they ended up with 32 full applications, and then we chose from a short list of probably 20. And it was very difficult, as it turns out. We were supposed to come for an hour, and three hours later, <laughs> we finally made a decision, and I think that, that speaks for itself. What's really amazing is looking at their books and all the research that's gone into creating the pieces rather than just looking at the pieces themselves. And the books are really, really interesting and some very, very uh, uh, challenging ideas in there. And I think to start with, it was having the big idea at the beginning and then working through it and then making a really beautiful finished model. So really thinking about what we're doing, but thinking about the conclusion as well. So we've just completed the first round of judging. So those students who've now been shortlisted will work on their concepts and will end up making a prototype which will exhibit at 100% uh, optical. I think it's interesting to see people's original ideas and concepts. Obviously the group here are not from an optical background, so I think from that point of view it's interesting to see how they view eyewear. I'm quite surprised about how nuts they've gone. I thought maybe they might be quite conservative with the, you know, using perhaps more traditional shapes and frames that they've seen before. I'm really interested in the people that have actually taken back all the ideas, stripped them all the way back to what eyewear actually is rather than what you need to make a frame. So for example, you've got the, the frame where there's a brick in front of your eyes and you can't actually see. You can't see, but you're being seen. It's challenging all the fundaments of, of, of eyewear. Well, there's a lot of wacky, yeah. So we've obviously had to try and work out what can be taken on to, to maybe spectacle wear and some of the concepts here. So we've obviously put it into two groups, what we consider could be possible ready to wear against true concept uh, frames. I mean, everything we do, I think, I uh, would speak for both of us, but I think everything we do starts with extremes and, and what you see on the shelf was ostensibly a commercial version of that but to create a point of difference you have to start somewhere completely different and if we always started at the same place we would end up with the same thing over and over again and we don't thankfully and uh, and a big part of that is starting from a, a very distant place. I think it's really really interesting for them to condense all the thoughts they've had from their existing projects and their research into such a small area, especially as fashion students are dealing with the whole body. I like those, you know, the different kind of heads, different sides of brains coming in, um, all adding their own different elements. Yeah, I really like that. It's great to get people thinking about eyewear and, and, and thinking about how important it is. You know, most people don't really think all that much before they go out and buy a frame. They just go to their local high street shop and don't really give it much thought, but actually people do need to think about it and do need to enjoy eyewear and, and get the most out of it. And a, a little bit more effort into the making of it and into the researching of it as a consumer as well will yield better results. I wanted to see if they had any concept of how the frame fits on the bridge of the nose because obviously that's important. Uh, whether the material can be adjusted. As a dispensing optician obviously we have to make that frame fit or we've got to start on the right premise and then be able to adjust the frame. So it's got to have certain characteristics like that. Glasses can be treated as something kind of functional and medical. That's not really what we're after at all. Glasses should be treated in the same way as any fashion item, as an accessory, as something that you enjoy. It's got colour, it's got form, it changes the way you look and the way that you see. So it's really fundamentally important that fashion students treat it with as much importance as any other item of fashion. Well, we wanted to do something that maybe showcase how people think in a, you know, younger students maybe think in a different way. Um, there'll be sort of new ideas, eyewear, kind of people will be able to think out of the box a little bit um, and just really uh, create a debate really. We've had a great debate here today about you know, what, what constitutes good design and eyewear, um, perhaps how far we can push the boundaries.